Well, hello and welcome to the VK6CS Fun with Amateur Radio Channel. I've just got a couple of these. They're rather nice. You can see the size of it compared with my hands there. This is a rather nice um, pentode made for the Russian military. It's a GU81M. And um, these are new old stock, but this looks absolutely brand new, this valve. Absolutely brand new. Um, and because it's a, a pentode, you can do interesting things with it that you can't do with a triode. So you could run this as a Class C amplifier and you could modulate the screen grid or you could modulate the suppressor grid. I think there's a video on YouTube of somebody modulating the suppressor grids of a couple of these in a uh, one kilowatt AM medium wave transmitter. Um, but as you can see, that's quite a nice, a nice graphite anode in there. These are 12.6 volts at 11 amp heaters, so I'll probably series them up um, and uh, run them at um, you know, 24 volts at 11 amps rather than 12.6 volts at 22 amps. I'll see what sort of transformers I've got lying around, but um, I think that's a that looks like a proper radio valve, doesn't it? You know, it's going to glow. Uh, unlike the metal valves, they don't look um, they don't look like proper radio valves, but these do. Um, these glow very, very nicely. And uh, you know, a couple of these will a couple of these will give out quite a bit of power, I would think. Now, um, <clears throat> you can modulate these. Um, you can amplitude modulate those quite easily as you can with any uh, tetrodes or pentodes. Let's have a look. Yeah. So if that's the uh, if that's the GU81M that's the cathode down there and the anode RF choke capacitor there's a the suppressor grid Probably connect the suppressor grid to the cathode. We're going to series. We're going to series two of those up like that. <coughs> that would be the uh, that would be the ground point like that, and then put the uh, 24 volts, 11 amps in there like that. That'll be the other valve, of course. Um, RF drive. Hang on, let's just. There we go. RF drive will come in here into the control grid. Bit of bias there. And the screen grid. There we go. The screen grid, you can put a triode in series with it. And some of the broadcasting transmitters, medium wave broadcasting transmitter uh, manufacturers, used to use this uh, method of modulation, screen grid modulation. So that'd be the HT for the PA, that'd be the HT for the screen. That would go to there. And you would set the bias up on there. Set the bias up on that to give you the normal screen voltage there. And you would tune that up as an ordinary Class C amplifier. And then you would adjust that pot, which would effectively reduce the screen voltage until the anode current was about 50%, well, it was 50% of what it was once the transmitter was tuned as a normal Class C stage. And then you apply your modulation. And um, they sound quite good. Or screen grid mod sounds quite good. There's nothing wrong with the, uh, uh, the fidelity. Now, um, what you've got to bear in mind is these screens are, I think, 800 volts at 200 milliamps. So if you're going to turn that down to 400 volts, which is what you probably have to do to get half the anode current, um, you're going to have 400 volts across that, 200 milliamps going through it, so it's going to be dissipating 80 watts. I think that's right. I haven't got a calculator, but I think that's about right. So <clears throat> whatever the anode dissipation of this valve is, it's going to have to be greater than 80 watts. Uh, you know, 100 watts would be good, 125 watts. Maybe a triode connected 813 could go in there. 
Uh, I think they've got 125 watts of anode dissipation and they're a nice looking radio valve as well. It's another one that lights up bright, looks nice, you know. So, um, and then that could just be driven with a, uh, um, might even be able to drive that just with a, uh, uh, a little triode you know, half of the triode, look, one of those little double triodes, 6 or 7, something like that. So the first half of the triode will be the audio in, and the second half of the triode will be connected to that via a capacitor. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, it should be, uh, should be, fairly, uh, should be fairly simple to do, uh, to do something like that. If I wanted to run AM on it, if I make a linear amp using these, I think I'll make it grid driven and I'll put a, a valve in series with the screen grids so that um, if I wanted to run AM I could just apply AM straight to the amplifier I wouldn't be using the AM on the solid state drive radio um, okay well that's just a little bit on my uh, on my new G1 uh, GU81M I've got two of them and uh, very very happy with the uh, uh, the way that uh, they were packaged um, they were uh, Got them from overseas, and they were very, uh, very nicely and carefully packaged. So uh, I was, uh, I was delighted when I saw that, and I was even more delighted when uh, well, I unwrapped one and saw the uh, saw the condition of it. Absolutely beautiful. Right. So uh, you know, being a radio ham and uh, liking that sort of thing, um, it uh, looked to me like a thing of beauty. In fact, I'll show it again. There we go. GU81M Russian military pintoed. Hope you found that interesting. As always, uh, many thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.